So you have just scouted and found the perfect candidate for that hard to fill role. And you can't wait for them to get on board and start doing their job. However, before that, there are so many mandatory tasks filled with paperwork, background checks, getting their devices ready and installing all the necessary apps for your new hire. All spread across different tools and different departments. If only there was some way to automate this entire process from start to finish without having too much mess across departments. How do we do this? Let's ask Adam. The first step is to make a handy checklist of all the onboarding tasks you have. Successful onboarding is not just about giving someone their new laptop. Chances are you also have to get them used to your company culture, the processes that you follow, getting them introduced to their team, and of course, giving them all the resources they need so that they can hit the ground running in their new job and really see success as soon as they want to. Creating a checklist will ensure that you don't miss out on any of these tasks and set up automated workflows for each of them. Now that we have our checklist in place, let's begin automating these different onboarding tasks. First off, set up an onboarding service item within the HR service catalog to kick off your onboarding workflow. Create a comprehensive service form that captures all your new hire details. This can then be used by either the hiring manager or different people across HR and other departments to completely capture everything needed about your new hire and smoothly kick off onboarding. This ensures there isn't too much back and forth between departments. Pro tip here, you can use an AI assistant with your service catalog so that HR managers can trace onboarding requests straight out of Slack or Microsoft Teams. Next, on the employee side, share a form with the employee to collect all the required details. You can set up an automation to send the information form to the employee's mail ID as soon as they sign their offer letter. You can then set up automations that automatically send forms to your new hire's personal email. This allows them to immediately fill out critical employee information as soon as they sign their offer letter. This is then used to move on to step four, which is automatically creating a new employee profile. If you're using an HR platform like Workday, ADP, or Bamboo HR to manage employee profiles, you can set up a workflow to create new employees automatically in your HRMS from the improved employee information form. Now that we've sourced all your new hire information, validated it, and created an employee profile, HR can pass on the baton to ID to begin provisioning the new device and all the software that your new hire needs to get started with their role. First, let's get the employee manager's approvals for the devices and apps they need. Automatically send out approval requests to the manager and cut down on approval times. You can even save certain approval policies to be reused across workflows. Once the request is approved, you can go ahead and automatically create a new user account on your identity access management tool like Azure Directory or Okta. Get them added to your organization's common communication and collaboration platforms on Slack and Microsoft Teams. You can also automate the access needed to specific apps for employees from a specific department. For instance, if Alice is joining as a marketing analyst, you can automate her access to tools like HubSpot and Figma. Next, it's time to send out a quick update to all the different onboarding stakeholders across departments like IT, HR, and payroll, indicating who is joining in new, their department, and their date of joining. We're now officially ready to roll out the red carpet for your new hires. Let your teams know who the new star in town is. Automatically post alerts to channels like general or new hires, and then also get them added to other channels relevant for their job role. This exposes new employees to the company's culture and values, helping them get into the group faster. Don't forget to reach out to your new hires on email too. You can send them a personalized welcome email that has all the vital information and links a new hire needs for the first few months of their job. And there you have it. By following these simple steps, you can make your employee onboarding process more efficient, scalable, and peaceful. Atomic Work allows you to set up and automate the entire employee onboarding journey end to end, breaking it down into phases like pre-boarding, day one, 30 day or 60 day check-ins and more. As organizations grow, processes like onboarding can quickly become extremely stressful and time consuming. The amount of back and forth between different departments can also prove to be a headache. 
by automating these workflows, you're saving yourself that hassle and making sure that you always deliver enjoyable employee experiences. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe and stay in touch for more tips on enterprise workflow automations and modern service management.